Yes. You are about to experience trash cinema. Welcome to another episode of The Trash Taster, a little snippet into what we're going to be doing on our podcast. My name is Johan Chappell and this is my victim, as usual, Edward Harvey. Hey guys! Now, we're doing something a little bit different in terms of, I had a different idea for the, a movie, but then something came up, which was the passing of, the surprise passing of Luke Perry. Yeah. And so because of that, we should, we should pay homage or tribute to him by picking what people consider to be a pretty rubbish movie in his, in his catalogue. Which that, in this case, is Buffy, Buffy the, the Vampire Slayer. Yes! <laughs> oh, man. The thing is, I have not seen this movie in a long time. Yeah. So I'm quite excited to see it, although I remember I remember it being a bit pants. Yeah, well, my memory of it was I saw it as a kid. Fucking loved it as a kid. <laughs> I didn't know or understand it. Well, uh, especially when you're a kid, you don't know really. Can't tell the difference between a good movie and a bad movie. If it's got stuff that's exciting happening, you just like it, don't you? Yeah. So perhaps <laughs> let's see if this, uh, this let's see if this movie actually works up to ridicule. Mm. Let's see if this makes it work. So let's get slaying, shall we? It takes ages to die, which is quite funny. <laughs> and we're back, and we have just finished watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie. Uh, whew, to be honest, I quite like that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I have always liked it. As mm. as I said in the intro, I, I just, I think it's a great movie. But a lot of people don't like it, so that's why it qualifies as a trash tape because a lot of people hate the movie. Hate it with a glorious yeah. passion. And to be frank, I don't think so. But going through it, I made some notes mm. that all the stuff we're going to put onto the trashometer. Yeah. And see what this goes. So. I was being a bit punny when I picked these out because the movie's actually filled with bad jokes and puns. Oh, you need them for Buffy. You, you have to. It has to be a wise, everyone has to be a wisecrack, doesn't it? Everything's a wisecrack yeah. in this movie. So, first of all, number one, killer cheerleader routines. Oh yeah. So, there's not only do we have cheerleading routines, which are not half bad, but the fact that she uses half the cheerleading routine in all the fight scenes. Yeah, it's brilliant. Oh, there's little bits where there's like, there's like there's loads of backflips, random backflips for no reason, just because yeah. she can. So, next one I think is then we have 90s overload. Oh yeah, there's these whether it's like sort of high fashion 90s or grunge. Yes, you've got every sort of little sort of genre of fashion in in the 90s in this movie. The bright half of them look like they walked up the set of Saved by the Bell, and also the soundtrack is incredibly 90s. The mm. set's incredibly 90s, so it's an overload. And people thought Captain Marvel went a little bit too far with uh, the 90s set up. This, oh Christ! Okay, then we got all the Valley Girl slang. Oh my God! Yeah, I, wow. I like this because it reminded me of like Heather's. Yes! Yeah. Heathers, Clueless, yeah. all the slack. To the point that I'm not going to lie, 
half the time I can't didn't even understand what they were saying. They're like, oh, it's like, oh, what's your damage and everything else. I love, I know some of those famous lines, but the other thing they go, what are these words? I think Heather's though did it slightly better because you've got really aggressive stuff like, oh, fuck me gently with a chainsaw. Like, wow. I know. <laughs> it's not that bad. This one. This is a bit more. This is definitely tamer. Yeah. Um. Okay. Next one. I'm. I just put this down. Stranger danger. Oh. <laughs> Donald Sutherland is just very creepy. Donald Sutherland is basically the trend, you know, trench-coated pervert that walks around high schools and looking at girls. This is literally what he acts like, and it's really uncomfortable. Yeah, when they do, if they made like, um, like a video in school that you watch to warn you about strangers, it's him. That's the guy. Because <laughs> he also appears randomly, like in the gym or in lockers. Just strolls into the school and let him in. I, I know. Don't know. I don't know whether that's just like a, a, a movie thing that didn't, didn't really happen or whether in back then people could just walk, the public could walk into the schools, I don't know. But nowadays you can't go into like a, a school or a college without sort of being signed in or whatever. Signed right? in, lanyards, checked, even yeah. frisked. So yeah. he would have, this movie would not work because of that. Okay, next one. Sexy Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> it's, I don't even like that sentence. It's Sexy just... Pee Wee Herman. Basically, Paul Rubens is playing the sexy vampire, which is so weird. I think it's because you've got sex and like pee in the same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> no, no we're, no, we're not doing into water sports. That's not right. Okay. And I don't like the image. It just Pee Wee Herman and water sports is a horrible image. Oh, can we not? We've already, he's already got enough trouble as it is. All right, especially with it, especially in this movie. Next. Incoherent drug stories. Now, this is a one bit where the principal, by looks of things, constantly seems to go on random ass incoherent stories about Vietnam and and all these weird ass drug stories where I forget half of them, but when he talks, that's all I hear is like, oh yeah, I was on acid once, man. And it just, it, all it is, it, all it's, he's doing that for is to try and act cool in front of the students. Yeah, and it's just, it's, too, it's really, it's trying way too hard. Mm. And if I, I would dare someone to watch the, listen to the stories again and see if they made any sense mm. at all. Okay, next one, fighting sloppy. Because even though there's some awesome chilling routines, the fight scenes are a little sloppy. Yeah, and obviously the TV series became known for its fighting. Yeah. Uh, even though, I mean, Sarah Michelle Gellar didn't actually do a lot of the fighting, you could tell, because it's always her back when she was fighting. Yes, it's it's always a body double. <laughs> uh, also... But the fighting was actually cool in the TV series, and a lot of it as well going yeah. on. But it's a bit naff in the movie. Yeah, like, the, wasn't there just one fight? The first proper fight where you got Donald Sutherland and a vampire and all they seem to be doing is rolling in the mud. That's yeah. it. It's like, <laughs> that's impressive. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Um, Rudger Camper, I like to call it, because Rudger Hauer is the campest thing I've ever seen. Definitely. Um, he's the king of the vampires and he's walking around pale-faced, lipstick, looking looking like Bela Lugosi's Dracula, but oh so camp, he's eating the furniture. Bit of like Vincent Price as well in there. Yes, he's, told, he's really, really camp. Next one, it's, a, it's an, on, an in, a running joke, PMS. Oh yeah, that is, oh, it's a bit, ugh. There's a lot of PMS jokes. Like saying, yeah. it's like, do you feel the cramps? That's because you. That's because that's the vampire sensing you. It's like that is really. And she's like, none of your business, God. It's like, true. Like... And half of it is just like, and all the vampires always seem to be smelling. Like smell. It's because she's on the time of the month. Oh, it's that. That's uh, it's kind of ingenious, but at the same time, it's a bit gross. It is pretty gross. I mean, no way should you ever really make a joke about PMSing. Okay, next one. It's just because there's this really cool sequence of how they did it. It's called Invasion of the Prom Crashes. So the entire prom sequence, mm. which is just a whole bunch of teenagers and proms and then all the cool gothy vampires hanging outside just going, Sss. that's kind of a cool little awkward moment. Yeah. But you can see the total clash between the prom guys and the vampire guys. And it's kind of cool if you want to have a cool fight sequence at a prom. I've never yeah. been to, I, I never had a prom. No, well, it's it's more of an American thing, isn't it? Yeah. But you've got like the, the the vampire DJ in that section. Which yes, is really vampire cool. DJ totally fell in for that one. Okay, next one, dry ice galore. Mm. So much dry ice. Yeah, this is almost eighties rather than nineties, isn't it? Yeah, like because it's like an eighties 
Uh, it reminds me of like Top of the Pops in the 80s, <laughs> with like, dry ice on stage. When something like. was a bit gothic and a bit moody, say, put on the dry ice! This is basically that. All the dry ice involved. And then finally, the one to end it all is, why don't you die already? Oh, that's great. It's really, I remember that being, uh, that's the most memorable thing from watching it as a kid. His death, like, because he doesn't die. Yes, it's just Paul Rubin doesn't die. And when he does die, it seems to take forever. And it's kind of, it's both funny and awkward. Because yeah. it's like a... <laughs> It's like a bad. It's a, it's it's a pinnacle of bad acting there. Well, no, I think it's I think he's intentionally sort of hamming it up because he's like, oh, ah, ooh, oh, ooh, la, 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 <laughs> and that's just the Pee Wee Herman side of him coming out, isn't it? He's being silly at that point. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It is probably the most ridiculous thing in the whole movie, actually, because mm. no, yes, the whole movie's a bit weird. Like, for example, another thing I can throw in there is um, some it's like it's like need a hand. Basically, he loses an arm for no reason. Mm. So yeah, okay, so that's my list. It's a short one. Yeah, no, but it's, that's that's all you need. I think that's all we need for that. Mm. So, where do you think? The Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie, falls on the Trashometer. Trashometer. It's definitely not high up. Um, it's not high up because it's not really that trashy. No. As I thought it would be. And also, I'm getting a vibe like what we did with Nightmare on Elm Street 2, where the movie actually isn't half bad at all. Actually, I really enjoyed myself. No. Yeah, I did. I did. It's, like, it's great. I mean, as I said, I've, I've, I've always liked it. Um, but I would, it's not, I don't know, do you think it's, is it tame or is it no, tiny, because tiny bit? I think tame would mean that we that we didn't enjoy it at all. I yeah. think that's more like it's boring and well, yeah. nothing sticks out. It's definitely not, uh, it's got to be tiny bit trashy then. So, but definitely. just, maybe just going into tiny bit trashy, like, so like you know, 20, 30% or something. Like, I think yeah. we we'll put it there. Because it's it's got little moments where you can laugh at it. And there's also moments which are a little bit silly and goofy. But it's still, I personally think it's a, this is a great movie. Just, yeah. Just, just all the haters out there, just don't compare it to the TV show. It's its own separate entity. But mm. I enjoyed it. I had, I, had, I had a whale of a time. Yeah, I loved it. It's great. All right, so we're so we're now just going to go into the discussion. So that episode, so the episode of that podcast is going to be up fairly soon. So if you want to listen to it, subscribe to the podcast. We're all over the place. We're on Spotify. We're on Acast. We're on Buzzsprout. You can see us on iTunes. Any sort of platform you can do there, and anything like that. If you go into iTunes or anything like that, drop a review, put on a rating, mm. see what you can do for there. Right, that actually pumps it up. Right, and other than that, then if you like what you see in terms of the video wise, subscribe to us. You have the subscribe button. Put the thumbs up, and so you get to see, um, and also put the bell notification if you want to see when our next videos pop out. Awesome. So, in that case, keep an eye on your trash. There might be a very camp vampire in there. See you next time. Trash.